You thought this series was dead, didn't you? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ark Survival. We are here in Scorched Earth. Back in Scorched Earth? Kind of. Um, I've got some explaining to do, so you might have noticed that the graphics here look a little bit better, and also, where the frick is my house? Why am I in cloth armor again? Where are all of my tames? So... We're in Survival Ascended now. Basically, if you're not caught up on what happened with Ark, uh, they remade it. So they remade uh, Ark Survival Evolved into Ark Survival Ascended, released it as a new game. It's uh, got much better graphics. It's got some other stuff. They're re-releasing the maps. They released the island a while back. Uh, they've now re-released Scorched Earth pretty recently, which is what we're playing here. And... I decided that this would be a good time to kind of bring back our series, and I want to talk briefly about what happened to the old one, because I didn't intend to have it drop off, but I kind of burnt out on it, and I also didn't intend to start playing uh, Ascended when it came out either. I was going to wait for a while, and I guess I did wait a while, but um, yeah, it actually kind of fixed the thing that I burnt out on, so... We're, we're trying to make a direwolf army, and I still want to make a direwolf army, but oh my goodness, the breeding system in Ark can be infuriating. However, uh, we'll talk more about this. Ascended actually changed it just enough that I think it'll fix the issue that I was having, so that combined with the game apparently actually runs better now, uh, which is not something that I expected them to actually figure out, but it, it's, I mean, the graphics look great. Uh, it, and it, it is quite smooth, <laughs> even with this, even with this level of graphics. So I think they did fix quite a lot. They actually optimized it. They actually improved on the game. Oh, there must be a gerbo up here in it. Wait, what is, what growl is that? Is that, hello, little friend. Um, I think that's a thunderstorm. Can I see level 12? That is interesting. The Jerboa actually have levels now. <laughs> you did not used to be able to... They did not used to have levels. They were all level one. So we can actually do cool stuff with the Jerboa now, probably. What are you? A baby Jerboa! <gasps> That's one of the new things. There's now little babies. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is... This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> oh no. All right. Um, well, I think that's just a thunderstorm. So let's take a look in my inventory. Have I figured out how to craft things? I am just having to start out again. We're gonna have to make a tent. They have some DLCs and stuff now, by the way. This we should probably get. Can I make... I've lost what I need amid all of the DLC stuff. Okay, no, that's when we can make a club. Let's make a slingshot, although I think we actually need a hide for that. Um, well, in that case, we are gonna do this the old-fashioned way. I am sorry, little friend. Um, oh, all right. It worked, it worked. Befriend, befriend. Can I, can I tame the babies? Did the babies run away? Can I have a whole family of Jerboas tamed? Where did your children go? I want to befriend them as well. Oh, they're over here. Hello. Oh yeah, that's a that's a thunderstorm. I don't think I can interact with you. Juvenile Jerboa. Yeah, okay. So I think it's because they're still following the parent here. So once the parent is tamed to us, which should be pretty soon here, uh, we must have hit it after it went down. That wasn't very good effectiveness. Where is the thunderstorm? Holy smokes. These are new effects. Yeah, okay. Um, I can see that I'm hot. Whoa! Holy stinking moly. Um, I guess. Holy cow. Wait, where did your, where did your, where did your children go? Where are the babies? Here, can I befriend? Befriend Jerboa? Yes! Yes! I have a friend Jerboa. Where's the other one? Oh my goodness, this is this is gonna be an a actual hazard. So it's there's still a little little glitching here. Oh my goodness, look at this though. We're not close, I think. And I should make sure that I give all of them food before they start starving here. Um, if I do this, I can access your inventory. There's new types of berries. We've got verd berries now. We've got, um, what kind of berry is this? This is cyan berry. So yeah, there's some new things. It's gonna take me some getting used to here. 
Um, I want to get an axe, I think. But yeah, we're gonna be trying Ascended. Uh, from what from what it seems, there are actually quite a few improvements. Oh, I need frickin' flint for this. All right. Um, I think I would need rocks for the hatchet, right? No, for the pick, I need this. Okay. Um, time to go punch a tree, I think. Man, this looks like a whole freaking tornado on the way. <laughs> um, yeah, this is, it's going to be interesting, but I want to basically, hi, are you guys good? Oh, they grew up, I think. Oh, they grew up. Look at this. We've got our whole little family of gerboas. That is adorable. I'm... Y'all, the this is this is just gonna fuel the Jerboa taming addiction. I am so sorry. There's no escaping it. I'm gonna have a million Jerboas. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be just trying to re redo our, our previous goal. We're gonna have to spend a few episodes catching up to where we were at, I reckon. Uh, but from there, we're gonna basically try to do what we were trying to do before. We're gonna try to beat the Manticore, because I've still never beat an arc map. Um, and we're gonna try to ideally accumulate an army of dire wolves because I would like to, uh, I would like to do that as well. But then again, also obligatory, uh, intro for Ark, uh, a little bit late into this. If you're used to my typical content, Ark is a little bit more of a rougher around the edges game. Uh, it can be a little bit more intense and holy stinking moly, you guys are eating me out of house and home. Okay. <laughs> um... Yeah, it can be a little bit more of an intense game than the games that I typically play. There's some blood, there's some scary survival elements. Uh, once again, you know, I'm going to be playing it in as family friendly of a manner as I can. But if you're if you're particularly sensitive to dino on person violence and getting hunted down and chased by large carnivores, as will inevitably happen the second a raptor shows up, uh, this might not be the series for you because uh, it can be it can be a little bit intense at times. Uh, other than that, uh, if I am leveling up quite quickly. <laughs> Other than that, uh, welcome back to Ark. Uh, there's there's a lot of changes that I'm sure we'll explore with time. I actually haven't played all that much Ascended in general. I'm not half as well versed in it as I um, as I was with uh, with Evolved. I think I had gotten like a, something like a thousand hours. I think it was my second most played game next to Wolf Quest. So. I, I'm nowhere near that versed in Ascended. There's going to be a lot I have to learn. We also have a handful of mods, mostly quality of life things, one or two silly ones. Uh, there's a spyglass mod, I think, that shows the stats, which is going to be important for breeding. Uh, we have the griffins again, because there's not griffins on this map normally. Such such things like that. But I'm again trying to go a little bit mod light. Uh, I don't usually do super heavily modded arc. I just want to make sure that we have a few mods. Goodness sakes, these guys are just going to eat everything. All right, uh, I'm going to spend a little bit of time getting ready here and uh, feeding the freaking Jerboas because <laughs> there's so many of them. Um, and I would not be at all surprised if I've accumulated a few more in the, <laughs> in the time before you see me next. Um, but in any case... There's a Morella Tops. So we'll have to get one of those guys eventually. Uh, I'm going to work on getting started. <laughs> you might be able to see one of the mods in the background there, actually. <laughs> you might be able to see one of the mods. We'll, we'll have to go check that out in a little bit here, but I'm going to work on getting a little bit more established, get some food and such, and, um, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So one of the things that is pretty cool about Ascended, if you can see it through the um, unfortunate amount of heat stroke that I've been acquiring, uh, is you the building system actually got expanded on a lot, which is one of the other most obnoxious things about uh, uh, about old Ark, <laughs> uh, about um, about Evolved. But you can see now we actually can cycle through stuff. You can cycle between doors and windows and stuff with one. Um, one wall type. Oh my gosh, this is not easy on the eyes. Uh, but that was one of the more frustrating things about Ark was the building system, and now it works a lot better. I think they actually got 
So like one of the mods we've been using was Structures Plus. I'm pretty sure that the Structures Plus guy actually ended up working on Ascended. So they actually did make quite a lot of improvements off of uh, off of Evolved. I wasn't sure if I was even gonna like Ascended, but you know what? To be honest, uh, I I've really enjoyed it though thus far. I I think that they fixed a lot of things that needed fixing. It seems like. But yeah, I like this new um, the the new building system here. I'm a little bit desperate to get this up because I can't find the flowers that give you silk. Uh, they still exist in this game, supposedly. I was not sure if they got completely removed, but this area had a lot of them previously, and now it doesn't seem to have any. Uh, but you can see, my my eyes are not doing too wonderfully in game right now. I am uh, very have some very blurry vision here, so I need to get a structure up pronto. I probably made it a little too big, but you know me and my freaking starter houses that are not even really starter houses in the first place. Uh, let's put this here. You can go right in. This will help keep the gerboas a little bit safe as well. At least it seems like maybe it's kind of cooling off. This is a pretty parasaur too. Are you a good level? I'm gonna try to curb my gerboa taming by only taming high level gerboas and other things. So hopefully that will um, keep the creatures down a little bit. Uh, I do have a mod that should allow me to store them. It's not quite the same as the mod that um, I was using previously. It's a slightly different one, but it'll it'll do effectively what we had with the soul balls and stuff. Let's maybe have you... Can I have you stay? I'm not used to all the symbols yet. This will stop. Let's have you stay. Stop. And you can go in here. And we'll have you stop. These guys have been going feral every time that there is a storm or anything. Uh, we need one more. I think if I'm just indoors, that will help me recover of my ailments. And eventually we'll be able to build a slightly better, um, better housing for ourselves here. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's good. That's either, um... That's either rain or sandstorm. It might be rain. I hope it's rain because we are not equipped for a sandstorm. We gotta get some windows up, and I'm running out of a running out of thatch here. Cactus is good for thatch, right? I think that's pretty good for thatch. Oh, this blurry vision is gonna be the death of me. It's gonna take us a little bit to get back on our feet and get back to the point where we were previously because we actually did get decently far in this game. The Doodicarus, by the way, keep freaking me the frick out. Their their noises are a little spooky. Oh, good heavens. Why, remind me why I missed the desert again. Remind me remind me why why I wanted to come back here. Uh, no, it'll be it'll be a fun time, I think. But uh, it's it is going to be a time. Oh, I was wrong. It was a heat wave is what it was. That's right. I forgot that that was an event. Well, I'm glad that I'm indoors now. Uh, although we don't have enough thatch to finish off the rest of these windows. But, like, this is pretty pretty good-looking house. I'll have to show it off to you guys when it's not, uh, not super hot out there. Because I bet if we go out, are we? Yeah, we're immediately going to overheat. Even in here, I think we're actually overheating. Uh-oh. Well, I maybe better throw some of that, um... Holy smokes! If I throw some of that into there, at least maybe we'll die less quickly. Oh, it's still pretty frickin' hot here. That's unfortunate. Well, maybe I had better invest in a bed if I can afford one. Of course I can't. Uh, well, at least we are rather close in spawn. I could probably put on... I could make some gloves. Maybe that will help a little bit. Unfortunately, I, um... Oh, well, I can get a little bit more fortitude. We're just gonna freaking stack fortitude if we can, because holy smokes. Uh, maybe if we close some of the windows, that'll help us a little bit. And huddle in this corner. No, I have a feeling that demise is inevitable. Well, perhaps I will, uh, just hunker down and wait out the heat wave if I live that... Am I able to? Nah, we're, our health's still dropping. Yeah, 
I'll just catch up with y'all when this is done and uh, keep you posted on whether or not I survive the experience. I definitely did not survive. I died a few times. I'm probably going to die again here if I'm not careful because if I venture too far away, it gets hotter. Okay. Oh no, yeah, it kind of, it doesn't always. Okay, my health is overall going back up, but, but we have to be a little bit careful here. Uh, oh, there's a supply drop up there. I don't know if I can get it yet, though. Uh, but yeah, I figured I'd take a little bit of a look at what the house looks like, but I might have to go hide within it again because it is uh, still quite warm. It's, eh, I mean, it's it's a it's a thatched hut. What were you expecting? <laughs> but like, I think it looks good for a thatch hut. Um, it's not terrible. The other thing that I wanted to look at, like, it serves its purpose. The other thing I want to look at, though, is this guy. Uh, if I can, because, oh my goodness. So you might have seen one of these guys running around earlier. Um, yes, you see correctly, this is a giant Jerboa. This is one of our mods. I... Y'all, I had to. It's so ridiculous. Look at this. It's just, it's its so stupid, and I love it so much. Uh, we're gonna try to tame this guy. This is only a level 44, but for where we're at, that's probably not bad, actually. I want to see if we can, because you can ride these guys. I want to see if we can, oh, jeez. Oh, he's fast. She's fast. Okay, let's see if we can, yeesh. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this with um with a slingshot. Uh, if it gets stuck in the corner, maybe. It's not attacking, I don't think. Sorry, but you need to pass out so that I can tame you. Oh my goodness. She is running. Um, oh my gosh, we might not actually be able to do this. We might need, I wonder if they're bola bola. This is reusable bolas. Let's see, you can be bola perfect. Stand still. And let's do some whacking here. See if we can knock you out. I don't know how much health these guys have. I don't know how difficult they are to, to knock out. Apparently not very. All right. Perfect. Uh, kind of in the ground. Uh, some of the mods might be a little funky here. But let's see. I do have some major berries. How easy are you going to be to tame? I think my taming is pretty high up at present. Uh, I might have to tweak some settings again. Uh, that's just kind of the way of starting out in an arc series. Why am I dying again? Am I once again too hot? Can we fix this? Oh my goodness, this is just an ongoing problem. Oh, all right, all right. Um, just let's see, can we ride? The we can just ride the giant Jerboa straight out of the, oh, merciful heavens. I don't think that's supposed to happen. Hold on. Okay, so the giant Jerboa riding might be a little bit broken. <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope they fix this, because it'd be so funny, but for whatever reason... Oh, that looks... That doesn't... That doesn't look... Oh, dear. No. Oh, we can jump. Can we get off? Oh, good grief. That hurt. I'm gonna die of fall damage. Um... We might... <laughs> We might need to not, um, okay, let's not die of fall damage. I just want to not, that's still going to hurt a little bit. Uh, we might need to not, we might need to see if this mod updates. It might not work. It's so funny. Maybe we'll keep it installed just because it's funny, but, uh, yeah, um, maybe the little bit, tiny bit broken. In any case, I'm about to die a heat stroke again, so let's get good grief. We're back in the freaking. okay, there we go. Um, hopefully the heat stroke will start to fade now. Oh, maybe don't, um, maybe stop, stop following. There we go. Uh, I also can't get rid of this, by the way. There, there's definitely still some bugs. Um, it's, it's Ark. Ark is always, I think, gonna have some, <laughs> some interesting things. But I think we are gonna go ahead and wrap this up here for today, because, uh, we kind of achieved our goals. We got a, a house set up. We got some Jerboas. We got a really big Jerboa. That's kind of a really broken Jerboa. Do we have a, like, a saddle or anything? 
no, you just don't have a saddle at all for that. So uh, maybe, maybe, maybe they'll fix it at some point. Maybe we'll just have to kind of keep them as a novelty thing. But in any case, the other thing that I wanted to look at, okay, we do have our wood tier now. Uh, we're starting to get our storage here. Okay, so this is, this is what we have instead of awesome teleporters. Uh, I want to try this out. We now have um, the tame storage. We can always just stick the gerboas in the, in the storage if we need to as well until they're a little bit less broken. But what I wanted to see is... Is there... There's an... Okay. Oh, we've got Adobe level. Actually, we might want to build mostly out of Adobe because that'll help. But yeah, okay. We're starting to get some, some of the rustic stuff. So this is one of the... One of the things that I have, one of the mods that I have installed is this, um... I forget exactly what it's called, but it's a, a structure pack. So we got some kind of cool, kind of, um interesting looking structures that I'd like to try out. We'll see what we end up building out of because I think we want to make sure that we keep our um, our temperature levels down, but we're starting to get at the point when we can explore some of that, so maybe I'll start working on rebuilding the house somewhere. Oh, good heavens. No. No, not again. Good grief, these guys jump. Oh, I'm gonna fall and die. All right. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll start working on building in the meantime. I kind of want to like rebuild the old house again or something like it. It's not going to be exactly the same as it was, but I kind of want to build in the same location, kind of just do like a side by side of this is what we're doing in the other one. This is what we're doing in this one and kind of see how that goes. But I probably should get something set up a little bit better before raptors and things start spawning. Uh, and so that I have a place that I can actually hide out the heat because yeah, this is going to be a, a series and a half. Uh, if it's anything like the other one. But for now, we'll go ahead and leave this off here for today, I think, because it is going to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.